Have you ever felt so lonely and out of place that you feel sick about it? I have too. I'm Nick. Welcome to All Our Questions, where I search the internet for questions that we all want answers to, and I answer them. Today's question is, why do we feel lonely? We're going to find out, and we're starting right now. Humans are one of the most social species on the planet. I mean, think about it. From the time that we're born, we're making connections and interacting with other humans and forming bonds that can sometimes last a lifetime. Our social skills are one of our greatest assets. In fact, they're such an asset that they've been the key to the success of the entire human race. By interacting with other people frequently and building lasting relationships, we're more likely to have people in our corner, so to speak, in the event that we need help of some kind. So it makes total sense that natural selection would favor people with better social skills because those are the people that are more likely to cooperate with others, which makes them the most likely to survive. That is why our brains are hardwired to seek human contact and avoid isolation. I would like to know what you do to avoid isolation down in the comments. We begin to feel lonely when we go without meaningful interaction with other humans for too long. When we do go without interaction for too long, it causes our brains to trigger a stress response which releases cortisol into our bodies, which causes our heart rates to rise, and it causes glucose to flow into our blood. That increases the amount of energy that's available to us, which in turn makes us feel anxious, on edge, and uncomfortable. If this continues for a long period of time, it can lead to heart disease, depression, and a higher risk of stroke all of which are things that we don't want to have to deal with. Being lonely can make us so stressed out that the immune system actually becomes compromised and life expectancy is reduced because the body is less able to fight disease. Some specialists refer to loneliness as social pain because they feel it more accurately represents the reason that the feelings of loneliness can be so intense. In a similar way to how physical pain encourages us to avoid danger, like fire, for example, Behavioral scientists say that the brain makes us feel hugely uncomfortable when we're isolated for too long to encourage us to seek companionship. The only way to fully relieve social pain is to physically interact with other people on a regular basis. Doing so causes the release of oxytocin, which is also known as the bonding hormone and is crucial to all human relationships at least the positive ones. Loneliness can be summarized as an evolutionary mechanism that pushes us to form bonds with other humans in order to cooperate with each other and ensure mutual survival. Our brains make being truly isolated for too long so unbearable that we automatically seek other people to be with, even if it's just chatting with other people on the internet. And once we do find companionship, we are rewarded with feelings of safety, security, and satisfaction. So if you're feeling lonely right now, or for when you're feeling lonely in the future, the very best thing that you can do for yourself is to go hang out with people that you care about. That'll fix it. And if you don't have an immediate circle of friends or family around you, then the best thing that you can do is go out and start some conversations that can hopefully lead to friendships. And if you don't know how to start a conversation, but you would like to, or you would like for me to make a video about it, let me know in the comments down below and I'll do that for you. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button somewhere on this page so that you can get more answers to all our questions. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.